well, Aaron Rodgers is officially our daddy. So, uh, Vikings lose 43-34 on what has to be one of Aaron Rodgers' best games I've seen in a long-ass fucking time. And it's not even like our offense played bad or anything like that. It's just... We couldn't get on the field. And when we were on the field, we were torching them. But it's just the first few, like, possessions of the game. It looked like it was going to be like, well, case in point, the first possession of the game, it looked like it was going to be an offensive shootout. And then it looked like it was going to be a defensive shootout. And then the Packers just said, fuck that, and whoa, just totally drove on us. And then Kirk Cousins, before the first half ends, throws a boneheaded interception, gets sacked in the end zone for a safety, and then proceeds to try to bring us back into this game. So yeah, when the Vikings get it, when they say preseason doesn't matter, it matters. Because with 2020 being the way it's been, it's just been an absolute... I mean, bloodbath, crap show, whatever you want to say. But at this point, the Vikings haven't shown me anything that they can do anything other than the same shit they do every year. Where, like, one side of the ball tries to atrophy, like, basically carry this team, and then the other side can't do anything, which then basically cancels out and the other team wins. So, yeah, the Packers are going to win the North. We're going to be, like, fourth at this point, and, uh, yeah, so, basic Minnesota Vikings fan over-analysis, we're gonna go 0-16. Now, will we? No. I'm, I'm not gonna say that, but, it's just been a very stressful first week. It's been a stressful few months for all the fans, and, of course, like I say, every team can go, you know, 16 and home, but... Again, I can just hear the Packers fans flapping their gums. And yeah, Aaron Rodgers looks like a dangerous man yet again. But again, Cousins did all he could. The defense looks like... I I wouldn't say the defense looked bad, but it's just... Only so much you can do when you're on the field for like 40 minutes. And the offense can't even get any sort of opportunity to, you know, at least try anything in the first half. And then the second half happened, and the Vikings tried everything they could to get back into it, but at the end of the day, we're 0-1, the Packers are 1-0, and uh, yeah, so let's just say (sighs) it's been a frustrating day for a Vikings fan. But There's still 15 other games to go. Who knows what will happen come week 2, week 8, week 12. You know, at this point, I'm not going to really base anything off of it. Just because, again, it's been a weird offseason. But, man, is it frustrating. Because, again, it's the same shit that's doomed the Vikings for the last, I don't even know how long. So, one side has to try to carry the team. Because the other side, either A, can't get an opportunity to try, or B, gets blown out of the building. But, anyway. Like I say, I can make a 25, 30, 40, 50, 60 minute rant video about the history of the Vikings and how they always cuck us in the end. But, it is what it is. It's a frustrating week one loss because, again, it's the fucking Packers. If you're a Vikings fan, you know that's the number one enemy and more than likely the team between the Vikings and Packers who's going to win the division at least over the last, I'd say, 10 to 15 years. So, yeah, I mean, Cousins had a good game, but it again, there just wasn't enough for me to see anything. And when he was on, he had a couple plays that pissed me off. But again, that wasn't necessarily his fault. I mean, Jair Alexander with that safety. And then Kirk Cousins tried his hardest to try to get us back into it. But, yeah. (sighs) I mean, we'll wait and see. Because at this point, 
It's looking like an absolute shit show. But the Vikings still have a shot. Because, again, it's only one game. I mean, the Vikings season or the NFL season in general is usually a marathon and not a sprint. So, again, this has just been a bad loss. And, again, it's not like we didn't try to get back into it. Because Kirk Cousins, at the end of the day, had a pretty good damn game for himself. It's just he couldn't get a chance to, you know, try anything. So. It's frustrating. That's all I'm going to fucking say about that. And yes, I also had a few beers because this team fucking does that to me. But anyway. <laughs> so until we meet again, this is Jacob. Have a good day. And uh, stay tuned for the next preview video.